Sadhguru. I am constantly torn between my senior colleagues who are extremely skilled surgeons. Uh, Sadhguru, the, on the heart, there are some procedures which are done by very few people on this planet. I'll, I'll give an example. I do an operation called pulmonary endarterectomy. That's the, the blood clots from the leg goes to the lung arteries and it clogs up all the arteries. So 20, 25 years ago, there was no cure for this. And once you're diagnosed, you're destined to die within a year. Today, people who are on home oxygen for two years, three years, you do the operation, they can go back to skydiving or they can go to scuba diving. That's the transformative effect. But there are only 50 surgeons, less than 50 surgeons, in this world who can operate. And like this, we have some of my colleagues who are extremely gifted surgeons. They are in their 50s now. And some of them are constantly talking about retirement. Especially one surgeon who is an extremely gifted surgeon who can fix any damaged valve. He is single. He has no other commitments. Every other day, he talks about going to Banaras or somewhere and retire. And I keep telling him that God didn't create him to retire and meditate. He has to be fixing all these problems. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives me extension every six months, Guruji. <laughs> so at the end of six months, the usual rigmarole starts. He talks about retirement and everybody is depressed in the hospital. <laughs> so how do you deal with this kind of people? <laughs> you, must, uh, you must give him a one-year sabbatical with me <laughs> Yes, because uh, the, the need or the idea of retirement enters anybody's mind because of the monotony of what they're doing, whatever it may be. Somebody else may think it's a great thing, but in your experience somewhere it's becoming monotonous or stagnant. Stagnation is one thing that human intelligence and human system cannot take and most of the ailments are because of stagnation, stagnation of life. They may be they may be getting their, uh, you know, once in three years promotion, they may be making a little more money, all these things may be happening. But somewhere experientially there is a t stagnation, which could be a major cause for many of the complex ailments that people manufacture within the systems. The more complex they get, you try to create more talented surgeons. I'm saying we are manufacturing the problems, we are trying to manufacture a solution. I think as we offer solutions, people who have already gotten into problems, they need solution. But it's very important that we teach people how not to create these problems. So that instead of fifty, you have to produce five thousand expert surgeons to attend to all these people who are on self-help to illness. So I would say a surgeon who's, who, ha who has a certain competence and who has worked through his life, if he wants to explore something of his own nature, that would be the greatest thing to do because he's not a man without commitment, not competence. When competence and commitment is there, you should not run him through the rigram role and destroy that possibility. It's important that he explores something of his own nature which will make him… we don't know what he'll come up with. You cannot even estimate what he may come up with. I think a sabbatical <laughs> is good. <laughs> he may come up with something that you not thought possible. <laughs> I will… I will convey your message to Sadhguru. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching this program <laughs> <laughs>